We're at one of the mountains, well, one of the little parks. We've got a nice little high peak. Well, not a high peak, I know, because it's got to be a certain amount of feet. But we're at a nice little hill. We're going to get a sprint going right now, Exploration Peak Park. We're going to get a little workout in. Uh, this is probably my first run in a very, very long time. So Rob runs all the time. I'm just going to get something nice and easy. And uh, maybe I challenge myself a couple times by going up and down this hill. Get back in shape, get the lungs ready, and uh, this is a good way to kind of change it up, especially out here in nice summer heat before it gets really, really hot today. So we're going to bang this out quick and uh, get the rest of the day going. Becca's getting her work in. She's gonna be a little savage. This was like, just like a sightseeing type of thing. Nothing too crazy. It wasn't meant to be a workout originally. It was supposed to be just something that Becca could do because she hasn't gone hiking out here yet. This is not what I would consider hiking, but it kind of is on a like moderate scale or low end because you can take the easy side, but Marab and I decided to make a little bit of a workout of, out of it and uh, going straight up the hill and scaling the mountain a bit and just doing the incline. So we went up twice, actually three times and um, just push the pace, trying to go up a bit. When you get to the top, your legs start to get heavy in the quads, and you start to feel all the blood just pumping, and you just feel like you can't step. It's like almost like you're trekking through water. We watch a little tape with Aljo. He, he break down fights uh, like uh, that, was, that was best, and then we know now all 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 the technique we should work on, and uh, now. Just getting ready for a fight. Uh, it's gonna be a good fight uh, against uh, his, uh, Jose Aldo, his goat. You know, with big respect, but we gotta fight like, hard, and it's gonna be a good one. You know. Just got to the UFC PI. About to get some food, refuel the body a bit, and then I got PT coming up right after that. We're gonna do a full evaluation. So I got a couple. Of Bumps and bruises that I want to get worked out before we like officially start training camp, which will be next week. So I got to get everything right. And what are the places there to be at the UFC to PI? You know, the best. All right, so we got a glizzy, all beef dough, no pork. We got a braised rib, braised short rib with mashed potatoes. I was going to get french fries, but you know, it's better to eat the potatoes. I got the macadamia cookie, chocolate chip cookie. I got a barbecue chicken pizza and that's pretty much my meal and I got to buy these have one gram of sugar 11 grams of total carb uh, carbohydrates which is good and 55 grams of caffeine per bottle so that's nice to have um, most of their drinks if you check them they fill like 27 to like 48 grams of sugar which is a shit ton of sugar which is why people crash so to actually look at that and monitor it i think that's a good thing that you could do that will help you with your energy levels throughout the day so this is good not too much sugars um tastes great too and uh normally i just drink water but today i'm gonna have this and that's it she's got one too she knows what's up We got some fine Georgian cooking from the machine. Nice burger. 
some cheese, some ketchup. The bun is toasted. Nice little seasoning. Check this out. How do you like this steak? Ah. Okay. Check it. Oh, this looks good. I'm about to eat this whole little piece right here. I can't eat that by myself. That's beast. It's perfect too, it's not like well done. Yeah, we had a good day of training. Recovery, got a nice evaluation at PT today. The bodies still need some work, fine tuning. And this is myself getting myself back into shape to get ready for a training camp. This is gonna be pretty intense. Another five round fight um, against a tough competitor in TJ Dillshaw. Um, one of the most well-known guy in the division for good and bad, but uh, I'm excited to compete against him. I think uh, I'm gonna clap those cheeks, and it's gonna be a fun time doing it. So stay tuned, cause I'm coming for that ass. <laughs> What's going on? Pause. <laughs>